Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Monday market webcast. Okay, so uh, I've been tra I was traveling the back end of last week, so I uh, wasn't able to do any webcasts. I'm back now at the desk. And what we saw last week was a push down to the daily mid band. We actually closed below it. We fought back a little bit in the Sunday overnight. Uh, so I would suspect that today is going to be kind of a battle between the daily mid band and the new weekly pivot down at 29.88. Uh, so you got your daily mid band right in the area of 78. Uh, 78 to 88, you could really potentially see a 10 handle range there with the daily pivot in between. The bottom line for the bulls is you don't want to start establishing weekly pivot as resistance early in the week. Monday becomes Tuesday, Tuesday into Wednesday, and if it stays resistance, then what you have potentially is a chance to make another lower low. And if you do that, then we'll spend much more time this week below the daily mid band than above. So it's tested the new weekly pivot twice in the overnight. I'll be interested to see what it can do in the regular session. Uh, all we did Sunday, we, we put out along uh, about 6.15 p.m. against 72. Uh, we're long in the area of like 76. Came back into 75s, so couldn't really do anything. Uh, we've taken profits on that. We're holding a runner. Um, and we'll see how that plays out as we get into, uh, into the regular session. Uh, what, what the bulls want is a very simple dip by probably somewhere in the area of the hourly mid band and then can make uh, another higher high and push up above the weekly pivot and then stay above the weekly pivot for the majority of the day and go ahead and try to attack that 3000 area. Uh, once they get up top, they're going to have to deal with 3010 because that was resistance again on Friday. Um, you, you just, you, you see that once it gets above 3000, that the bulls just, they, they don't have a whole heck of a lot up there. Um, it's hard to be confident in and around new highs. Uh, sometimes the best thing you can do is to go back to an area like the daily mid band, like they did on Friday, demonstrate that to everyone and to themselves that it's support, um, to get back above that weekly pivot back above 3000, you have a much better chance of extending to the upside after you've done a little bit of a pullback. Um, and this would be something in the area of 50. And yeah, call it, uh, you know, 50, 53 handles. Um, and then you have more fuel when you get back to the upside to go ahead and make a higher high. As I said, for the bears, it's pretty simple. You've defended 10. You've defended the roundy. Uh, you've made a lower low. You're trying to defend 88 now. You need to continue to make lower lows. Ideally today, you'd like to close below the daily mid band at 78. That's your, you know, that's a pretty good looking outcome. Your ideal outcome would be to close below 70. Uh, that might be a little bit of an ask, uh, absent some kind of news. All right, take care, trade them well. More stuff out on social, check that out, and I'll talk to you soon. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.